Hi everybody and welcome back to Let's Play Persona 4 Golden. Um, and in the last part we went through the uh, first... Uh, we uh, we continued through Marie's dungeon. We actually found Marie. And um, we actually uh, took on and beat the first form of her boss fight. And today we're going to be continuing that. We're going to uh, finish off a boss fight with its uh, second form, which is a little bit harder. Um, but I actually really enjoy the second form, it's a lot more uh, fun to fight than the uh, first form. first form is just ridiculously easy. So here she's basically going on about why do you continue to fight? Why do you continue to try and save me even after everything that's going on? And um, It's kind of fucking obvious <laughs> as to why we're, we're continuing to do that, because it's part of the game. No, um, <laughs> because uh, Murray is, a, is the guy's, you know, friend, and they want to try and they like her, so they, <laughs> you know, they're friends with her, so they want to, they don't want her to die, so they want her to keep her, uh, to keep her alive. I already have a role, and it's to disappear. I shouldn't have ever remembered. No, it's a lie. It would have been better if I'd never remembered. Marie-chan. What's wrong? Here comes the anger. That's right. There is no oh god, she's going super soon. Um. <laughs> Ignorance is bliss. There will be no pain if you never try to find out. So yeah, this is always like um, this part is kind of an interesting idea. The fact that it's kind of um. It's an interesting one. I think that it's kind of like the Personas, like, if you remember. <coughs> Sorry about that. It's kind of like the Personas. Uh, where, you know, it, at least with the last two, where, you know, Namatame... Um, what was I trying to say? Oh yeah, it's like with, you know with the last two personas, like they they had something, they had another. Instead of it just being a part of their personality, it had, it was another form that was inside them, like another person, like another uh, consciousness. And so this is a similar kind of thing, where I think, if I remember correctly, um, this other voice is kind of like the, the embodiment of. The fog, which was in the, uh, which was, uh, out in the world, which was causing all the issues. Um, and so it's kind of like you know the living being of that. Yeah, so it's kind of and here, Nato is pointing out that the, you know this world, this uh, I mentioned this anyway, but um, that this world is basically uh, a construct of Marie. Uh, that basically. The reason why all this stuff, all these stuff from her memories, is making up this dungeon, is because she wanted to bury it, be buried with the, uh, you know, buried, I say, with the good memories that she had in that world, and you know, and she's not doing this because she hate. It's not that she hates the world; she actually loves the uh, outside world, and they're trying to get her to. Think about that. You know, trying to get to see that that you know whatever original intent was that she is a different person than she was before she lost her memory. Are you saying we should wait for Marie Chan to be controlled by the fog and then defeat her? Yep. So we're waiting for Marie to get controlled by the fog, and then we will defeat kick that thing's ass, and then she'll be all right. Yeah. So yeah, what? <coughs> Sorry. Um, what I kind of like here is the fact know. that there are stakes to this boss fight, and it's kind of something right which now. isn't really. You might be able. To. Uh, only the adapt the adachi bar. <laughs> I guess they all have stakes, but this one has bigger stakes, because it's kind of like. Uh, if we allow her to get contr uh, controlled, her mind to be controlled by the fog, then if they defeat. That like that embodiment of the fog, then the fog will go away and Marie can come back, which is sound logic, I guess. Um, <laughs> but at the same time, it's still 
Marie's physical form. It's be than just so it's kind of like, even if we if we do defeat that, then we there's a chance that her. that will be completely destroyed. And how do we know that Marie's body isn't going to get completely destroyed? You know what I mean? And this is a nice moment. It's just like, okay, I trust you. Which I, you know, I like that. It's, <laughs> it's a nice little uh, thing. I like that. Don't any of you die. And there, that's finally the thing where she's kind of like shows that she really cares about everybody. And here we go, the final boss fight of Marie's dungeon, the second form. Um. <clears throat> Sorry, and this boss fight is a lot more fucking her. interesting. I'll say that much. Time to fight, and so this is the second form. The name of the f uh, there we go. The name of the form is Kasumi no Akami, and uh, the interesting and uh, the interesting thing about this one, I will say is the fact that um, basically she repels all attacks so every single attack gets repelled whether it's uh, fire, ice, electricity, wind, light, dark, physical all that stuff gets repelled so the only way that you can win is if you can is if you've accumulated a lot of the um, the things that you've got so for example you know you picked up these items which kind of got rid of um, resistance to uh, various types of attacks so the best thing to do <coughs> so uh, the best thing to do is to not use them in a lot of them during the dungeon and just to pick up that's why you need to open as many chests as possible throughout the dungeon there you got run amok I'll talk about attacks so uh, the attacks that she's got, she's got Runamok, which deals light to medium physical damage to all enemies two times. She's got the Draining Fog, which drains 50 SP from all enemies, but also sucks 250 HP from her, which is very useful. Um, she's got Shake Off, which deals medium physical damage to all enemies. Hot Lightning, which deals medium electrical damage to all enemies, with a chance of Dizzy. And, it's, and she's also got Matsya Dime, which deals le heavy electrical damage to all enemies as well as Mirage Dime, which is the fire version, Bufu Dime, which is the ice version, and Magaru Dime, which is the wind variant. We've also got Cry Denial, which nullifies all existing stat affinities, and Enclosure Shell, which nullifies all attacks. So, basically the, the way I dealt with this is... The way I dealt with this is pretty easy. Okay, the Enclosure Shell. So when she does the Enclosure Shell, there's only one thing you can do. Tom. Guard. <laughs> Guard. Oh, I, yeah, I decide here that with two of them I decide, okay, might as well get some re electric resistance nullified. Um, and I think I might put some ice, do I, no, I just guard. And I heal us all up, we're not without damage, but, so yeah, the best thing you can do is to just use your, because I've got Yukiko and um, Yosuke. I basically decide, okay. What I'm going to do here, because I've nullified her, so here I've nullified her resistance to electrical, so I just use the electrical attack. Uh, but basically, what I do is I use Chie and uh, myself, the main character. I use them. Why did I do this? Yeah, I'm a bit of an idiot. <laughs> anyway, um. Uh, so what I do normally is, uh, with myself and Chie, I basically get rid of uh, electrical damage. I remove um, fire and wind nullifying stuff. Um, I, n I get rid of the resistance to water. Uh, to fuck, try to talk. I, re I remove the resistance to I uh, fire and wind. And then I use Yosuke to base and Yukiko to use their best attacks. And when she uses the um, uh, the attack where you can't really attack her anymore, I use a 
I use like an ele I nullify the electricity. And I use um So yeah I do that and then I basically uh you and I uh, use a you, know, you go to um uh, uh fully heal up the party as well. As you can see you're doing a full lot of attack here. Draining fog is it's not that bad to do that kind of um move, to be honest. Um, but I think it's kind of like in the battle if you let it, if you allow it, you will allow it to do that too many times. Uh, you know, it's kind of like it gives you a bit of urgency, I guess, <clears throat> to not allow her to kind of destroy herself. So I kind of like that. So I use the firebreaker. No, I use the windbreaker here. Yeah, so I keep using the windbreaker and. Because they're the two most powerful attacks that I've, attackers that I've got, and then I use the firebreaker as well. There we go. Pretty comfortable. Yeah, it should be done fairly soon because I'm doing a lot of damage. And she's going to continue to use the draining fog. That might actually kill her. Not She'll quite. You you no, no, she did kill herself. Nice, yeah, nice, we beat her. <laughs> Fairly comfortable, that victory. Um, the, It's like I said, this it? boss fight is kind of... <sighs> I guess if you don't use a guide, you could consider it bullshit, because if you don't have a lot of those um, guard breakers, then that's going to cause a lot of problems, uh, you know, because it basically makes this boss fight unwinnable if you don't have them. But you should have more than enough by the end of this boss fight if you've looped through every single by the end of this dungeon if you loot through every single chest possible. So it's not really a problem. I've never found it an issue at all. How is she, is she okay? How's Marie? Are you? Go on, wake up. Or he isn't moving. Oh shit! No way. She dead? This can't be real. No. Come on, wake up. This can't be. We. Emmy John. Oh fuck! <laughs> we failed. God damn it! You're such a sleepy head. It's time to Sleep. wake up. Jesus Christ, okay? Teddy. Emmy John. No, this isn't happening. What did we do wrong? Emmy Chan! Well, yeah, probably attacked her, really. Don't die! Does she. I can't remember. Oh, there she is. She's waking up. Waking up. Marie Chan! <laughs> I love that. Goodness, Get alive. the fuck off, you <laughs> stupid bear. Oh! <laughs> Thank you. Ah, she's hugging me. That's nice. <laughs> I, I love this reaction here. that's long enough for a moving hug? Shouldn't you let go now? <laughs> you say nope. any jealousy. I'm tired nope. of moving. Enough with getting up. <laughs> I love that. That's her, I, you hug. know. <laughs> that hey. is uh, Marie's, uh, I don't give no here fucks face. <laughs> Why is it all our friends are like this? You know, there aren't a lot of people who can really mess with I don't know. Town. All right, it's time to go. Did you feel the earth Cuz, you know. Or was that just me? I love this reading actually from by Marie here. This isn't the time for stupid comments. What's going on? Don't tell me. Marie's reading here is really good. The bad guys defeated his evil fortress self destructs. I'm sorry. I forgot to mention. I don't need to be in this place to die anymore, so it's going to disappear. Why the hell did you say that sooner? <laughs> That's such a matter of fact reading of. We're gonna die. Yeah, We're all gonna don't really die. need it anymore. Just get to the exit. Hurry. Time to run. <laughs> dun 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 dun. dun. <laughs> it's like a fucking Metroid. Get out before the planet self destructs. 
I forgot how time and we made it out. Is. It's a lot more. Uh, it's a lot like better done in the um, anime, actually, because it actually. Um, Are these really your friends? Uh, it, sh it shows them. You know, it actually Careful shows them uh, running to the exit to get away. The TV. And it blew up. Can't enter that. Yeah, that now world is now television. completely sealed off and gone forever. Because there's no more reason for that was never. <laughs> what? Okay, whatever. <laughs> I don't care anymore. No! All right, it wasn't a TV. I'll take your word for it. Well, it feels weird. After all, I'm alive. <laughs> well, yeah. yeah, you are. <laughs> You're certainly alive. Um, thank you for saving me, and I'm sorry. Blushing. What? Why are you looking at me like that? You, you just said sorry, didn't you? <laughs> I love Kanji's reaction here. It's so funny. Huh? And you. Uh, it's just that you never seemed like the type who would say that. Huh? You, you stupid jerk. Fine then. F forget. <laughs> I love the reaction here. It's so funny. I don't really, I don't really know why, but I find it amusing. <laughs> Listen to me. What the hell? What is with you people? You risk yourselves to save me? Yeah. I don't get <laughs> I, out of it. I don't yeah, understand you. I don't really get that. <laughs> yeah, she's real weird. It's really? it's that uh, yeah, I guess honest, why are you laughing after you've just, you know, almost died? <laughs> you were from the <laughs> kind of not the time to do it, I would guess. But to not save you just because of that? Oh, that's not how we roll. If we blame things on someone else <laughs> and look the other way, nothing would change. You were in trouble and we saved you. It's nice the message there. I don't understand you at yep. all. If not knowing us bothers you, then you should start getting to know us. All of us want you to learn more about this. <laughs> That's a good point now to yeah, make that. Yeah, like Valentine's Day. If you have the issue. Valentine? Oh yeah, that's going to be oh, a So you don't know That's going to be a section. Huh. It's an <laughs> awesome I think that's the next big um uh, story not story oh, but I, I guess character developing that. segment Whatever. is going to be um no Valentine's cheating. Day reservation canceled Why you <laughs> uh, was quick well, uh, they should have done so much more with Marie and uh, with the interaction Wee, between Marie and uh, Risa would have been so fucking hilarious You're right I Oh well I enjoy what they do 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 whatever. I do enjoy what little hey, there is here. Sounds good on you, of course. <laughs> Let's get the rich boy. Expecting me to buy you lunch all the time. Ah, uh, another couple of characters who I enjoy. C uh, the conversing between. I'm okay. Let's go. Everyone's waiting. My PC moved. Anyway, and that's it. That's the end of the second to last dungeon in the game. We have beaten uh, that boss, and um, to be fair, that's probably the most interesting boss in the whole game. Wow. I don't think it's ridiculous. I don't think it's hard, but um, I, thought I, heard a voice. I certainly find it really, really fun to go through. That dungeon is my... I think it's my favourite. I think it has. Yeah, it's definitely my favourite dungeon. It's a lot of fun. Something like that. I don't know. And this, this familiar. is pretty much <clears throat> the reason why you need to do um, Marie's dungeon to get the final dungeon to appear, is because you have this little bit of a conversation here where she finally, where she basically lets the player know, um, <clears throat> there's more shit going on here than you know about. Um, that other voice was coming not from the fog itself, it was coming from someone else and the fact that we haven't learned how we got these powers and how uh, the TV world was kind of created um, kind of lays you know it's basically leading up to the fact that in the final dungeon we are going to find out who is responsible for all this shit and I love this little bit of a banter here she really made those snowballs quite quick 
Perfect. Kick his ass. Hold on. You have the eyes of a predator. The teams will be women versus men. Now begin. Marie, you separator. Come on! What the hell, guys? Yeah, they're getting out of the way. <laughs> oh, no subtitles. Yeah, it was pretty fun. I love that boss. That you know, that little bit of uh, levity right at the end. I love that. Is this what? Oh God, here we go. Anime cutscene. Ah. And now it's time for some. Um, how shall I put it? Let's have a little bit of fan service in here, shall we? Oh God. That's the wrong gender. With the uh, it's heroin, strategically planet uh, placed um, uh, um, foam. Whoa. Oh Jesus it's Christ! So I feel uncomfortable. <laughs> I had God, I did feel uncomfortable watching this for the first time. Yo, I was really hoping nobody was going to come into my room at that point. <laughs> uh, explana explanations would be needed at that point. I was like, yeah. I, I guess I misheard and misremembered because I remembered all of them trying to get a peek. But I guess the main protagonist is still trying to be uh, a good boy. <laughs> Doesn't want to be considered a perv. Oh my god. Uh oh. Oh, come on. Marie's really pissed. <laughs> Okay, that's overkill. To be fair, that's they're probably dead at this point. Anyway, <laughs> I'll see you for the next part of Persona 4 Gone when we'll be moving on with the. I don't know what we were doing. Um, I can't remember actually. So I will see you for the next part of Persona 4 Gone when we'll be moving on with more, um, probably more story stuff. So see you next time.